Did you know that the New Jersey Nets 2011 NBA draft appearance on June 23, 2011 at the Prudential Center in Newark was the last time the New Jersey Nets appeared in the NBA draft? Of course, being in the NBA has always been a dream come true for many. Nothing could match the instantaneous joy of being numbered in the NBA draft. But what happens if you're not numbered? To begin, what is the NBA draft all about? Since 1947, the National Basketball Association NBA, has had an annual event in which teams from the league can select eligible players players who want to play for them. This event is referred to as the NBA Draft. International basketball players can also be selected, although these are often college basketball players. While underclassmen must declare their eligibility and forfeit any remaining college eligibility, college athletes who have completed their four-year eligibility are automatically eligible for selection in the NBA Draft. On June 23, 2011, the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey hosted the 2011 NBA Draft event televised by ESPN in the U.S. The National Basketball Association NBA teams took turns picking amateur college basketball players from the United States and other qualified players, including those internationally. Due to a prior trade with the Los Angeles Clippers, the Cleveland Cavaliers received the top pick and they selected Duke point guard Kyrie Irving. Of the 60 players selected, 12 were foreign players without prior U.S. college basketball experience, 7 were sophomores, 7 were freshmen, 14 were juniors, and 19 were seniors. Next on, who is Kawhi Leonard? American basketball player Kawhi Leonard represents the Los Angeles Clippers as a small forward. He is one of the league's top five players and one of the best two-way players, if not the best. His extraordinary wingspan and hand size, along with his mix of speed, athleticism, and intellect, have all contributed to his rise to one of the NBA's top perimeter defenders. Because he is so good at stealing the ball, NBA fans call him the Claw. Kawi was more well known for his defensive skills, but scouts were aware of his strong work ethic and belief that he might eventually improve his offensive skills. The Indiana Pacers took him with the number 15 overall choice in the 2011 NBA draft, but he was traded to the San Antonio Spurs the same day. He had a successful first season and was selected for the NBA All-Rookie First Team. He steadily improved his offensive skills and honed his spot-up shooting. As a result, his Spurs team reached the NBA Finals two seasons in a row before taking home the 2014 title. Kawi won the final MVP award after outscoring the Miami Heat's Big Three by an average of 17.8 points on 61% of his shots. Additionally, he was named to the NBA All-Defensive Second Team, the first of many. Furthermore, he won the NBA Defensive Player of the Year Award two years in a row thanks to his outstanding defense. In addition, he was selected to his first NBA All-Star and All-NBA teams, concluding the 2015-2016 campaign as the MVP runner-up. Unfortunately, he suffered an ankle injury during the 2017 NBA Western Conference Finals. Due to this injury, he would miss the bulk of the 2017-2018 season, so he was moved to the Toronto Raptors. Kawi won his second Finals MVP award while leading the Raptors to the 2019 NBA Championship during his one and only season in Toronto. In Toronto, he solidified his status as an icon. Kawhi Leonard signed with the LA Clippers, the team from which he is a native, as an unrestricted free agent after the 2018-19 season. Together, he and Paul George elevated the Clippers to competitive status. And now, Kawhi Leonard's transformation. Kawhi Leonard ultimately transformed from a mysterious athlete with all the talent you could ask for to the heir apparent to Tim Duncan in San Antonio to the person who openly requested a trade to Los Angeles and to the person who surprised the international sports world by guiding the Toronto Raptors to an NBA championship in 2019. Along the way, we've seen Leonard develop into the NBA's top on-ball defender and conceivably one of the league's all-time best defenders. In the summer of 2019, Leonard fulfilled his desire to return to his birthplace, Southern California, when he signed with the Los Angeles Clippers and persuaded all-star forward Paul George to join him. Kawhi Leonard has established himself as one of the three highest-ranked players in the NBA after helping the Toronto Raptors win their first NBA title in 2019. Amidst all of this, many wondered how he got to be where he is and who the 2011 NBA draft passed over. Interestingly, we will try to answer as many questions as you may have while we examine the players that came before Kawhi Leonard and also determine which clubs regret not selecting him the most. Following players that got drafted before Kawhi Leonard. Some things happen like they're a norm, and it's quite evident in the NBA world. In relation to the NBA draft, it has been frequently observed over and over. For instance, Michael Jordan came before Sam Bowie. Kevin Durant came before Greg Oden. Before Carmelo Anthony and Dwayne Wade, there was Darko Milicic. Twelve men were selected before Kobe Bryant, while six men were selected before Stephen Curry. At times, you reflect on past NBA drafts and wonder how NBA superstars get overlooked so many times. Naturally, the same thing occurred in 2011, specifically before the San Antonio Spurs pounced and selected Kawhi Leonard as the 15th overall choice. Twelve different clubs selected 14 different 
different players. Who were the 14 other players that the teams picked before Leonard? Here they are. Kyrie Irving, PG, Cleveland Cavaliers, Derek Williams, PF, Minnesota Timberwolves, Ennis Cantor, C, Utah Jazz, Tristan Thompson, PFC, Cleveland Cavaliers, Jonas Valanciunas, C, Toronto Raptors, Jan Vesely, PF, Washington Wizards, Bismack Biombo, C, Sacramento Kings, Wright's traded to Charlotte, Brandon Knight, PG, Detroit Pistons, Kemba Walker, PG, Charlotte Hornets, Jimmer Fredette, SG, Milwaukee Bucks, Wright's traded to Sacramento, Clay Thompson, SG, Golden State Warriors, Alec Burks, SG, Utah Jazz, Mark If Morris, PF, Phoenix Suns, Marcus Morris, PF, Houston Rockets, and Kawhi Leonard, SF, Indiana Pacers, Wright's traded to San Antonio. Moving on, are there any noticeable all-stars among the selection? When we look at the players who came before him, only Kyrie Irving, who was largely regarded as the consensus number one choice, Clay Thompson and Kemba Walker, stand out to us. We can't fault Cleveland and Golden State for passing on Leonard because Irving and Thompson have both achieved championship success and addressed critical needs for their respective teams. In their eyes, Marvin Williams was the small forward Charlotte needed to fill the position of a point guard. Are there any possible team regrets? Talking about regrets, we can anticipate a lengthy list of regretful teams since none of the other players have made an all-star squad. First, the case with the Timberwolves of Minnesota. There were many young players at the small forward position on the Timberwolves roster for the 2011-12 season. Having Michael Beasley and Wes Johnson on the roster, both of whom have less than five years of league experience, would have made it inappropriate to add Kawhi Leonard. Before being traded in 2013, Derek Williams had developed into a reliable player for the T-Wolves, scoring 10 points and pulling down five rebounds a game. Next, Washington Wizards. In my opinion, the Wizards made a mistake by letting Leonard escape their grasp in favor of Jan Vesely, a fantastic player from another country. Richard Lewis didn't have a clear-cut backup for the Wizards, so it would have been smart to select Leonard and give him time to develop. In his three seasons with the Wizards, Vesely averaged barely three points and three rebounds per game before moving abroad to further his career. Utah Jazz To be honest, Ennis Cantor filled a need for the Jazz, but they presumably wish Kawhi Leonard had been selected instead. Utah could have chosen Leonard at number three or number 12, but instead they chose players with serious flaws in their performances. While Ennis Cantor was effective offensively, his defense was atrocious. On the other hand, Alec Burke lacked the athleticism necessary to outrun NBA players. Gordon Hayward would have been in his second season and was developing into a very fine player, but a combination with Leonard and Devin Harris may have caused matchup issues for Western teams. Sacramento Kings Sacramento would undoubtedly appear on this list. They had two chances to sign the future MVP of the two finals. At number seven, they could have chosen Kawhi Leonard instead of Bismack Biombo, or they could have let Milwaukee pick him and then traded for him in place of Jimmer Fredette, one of the worst failures in NBA history. As a journeyman player in the league, Biombo hasn't accomplished much, and Fredette's time with the Warriors last year wasn't all that successful. Leonard would have been a welcome addition to a Sacramento squad that finished dead last in opponent PPG, allowing 104 points per game, and they could have built a foundation around him. Finally, which person, in your opinion, regrets losing Leonard the most? We're choosing the Kings, because a one-two punch of Kawhi Leonard and DeMarcus Cousins might have made the West's team a serious challenger for the championship. What is your take on which team regrets passing on Leonard the most? Let us know your thoughts through the comment section, and make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And that's it. Thanks for watching.